welcome back. I've missed you. It's been so long since I've seen you. So the last few weeks we've been talking about, does anyone remember? If you said fruits of the spirit, you are absolutely 100% correct. We've been talking about the fruits of the spirit and we mentioned that one of the fruits is love and joy. And last week we talked about the third fruit of the spirit, which is peace and how Sometimes if we are going through things that are particularly upsetting, they make us feel angry or sad or frustrated, we can go to God and he'll bring peace in our lives. He'll calm those anxious, upset feelings in our hearts, even when everything around us is still going crazy. And then we talked about how God brings peace to our lives. So it's up to us, it's our job to try our best in everything that we do to make peace with the people around us. That means doing our best not to argue or to bicker when someone's being really frustrating or maybe not being rude if somebody does something that you just think they're absolutely 100% wrong. Not being like, duh, you didn't know that. Not being rude to them or being mean. And most of the time, especially if they are trying their best to frustrate you, it can be very challenging to be a, a peacemaker to bring peace to other people's lives. And so that's why we have this next fruit of the spirit that the holy the fruit of the spirit and it is super super important if we're going to bring peace to people's lives. Does anybody know what it is? So we have love, joy, peace and patience. Absolutely. So patience. What is patience? Patience means that you're waiting for something to happen or you're waiting for somebody to do something that you want them to do. But it's not just waiting. Okay, we can all wait. But just because we're waiting for something to happen doesn't mean we're being patient. Patience is waiting for that stuff to happen with a good attitude. So it's not silently grumbling in your head or even out loud being all grumpy. <sighs> Why do I have to stand here in line? <sighs> Why do you have to make that noise? It's so frustrating. So rather than being grumpy or angry out loud or even in our heads, because we can be angry in our heads and not say it out loud, that's what patience is. So it's waiting patiently with a good attitude. But it also sometimes means forgiving people when they do wrong things to us and then not responding to them in anger. So like if someone comes up to me and calls me a mean name, instead of losing my temper and be like, you know what? Well, you're awful too. I don't like you and nobody wants to be your friend and you look like a mushed banana. Okay, so rather than saying mean things to them, it's forgiving them and saying, well, that was not a nice thing to say, but I don't have to get upset because I have God on my side. So I'm gonna go to God with my feelings and forgive you and I'm gonna move on and forget you were ever mean to me. And did you know who is like the best example of this? Like number one, does this all the time. It blows my mind how patient they are. Do you know who it is? I bet you can guess. It's God. He is a great example of showing patience. In Psalms 103, it talks about how God is slow to get angry with us so he, it takes him a really time, long time to get angry with us because he's slow about it. But he's also filled with never-ending love. That means our his love for us is never, ever, 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 ever going to die, even if he does get upset with us. And even though we're constantly messing up because, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely not perfect. I make mistakes all the time. Sometimes I do things I shouldn't do, right? We're all not perfect and we mess up all the time. But... We can go to God and instead of him punishing us and giving, well, instead of him giving us all these terrible punishments for this, these bad things that we deserve, instead, he loves us so much that he remembers we're not perfect and he forgives us for it. He's being patient with us, even though we keep doing it again and again and again. And did you know that even before you and I were born, before we even did one thing wrong, God knew that one day we were going to need to be forgiven. So you know what he did? He made a way for us to be forgiven. He sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, right? So he was patient with us even before 
we thought we even knew we needed patience. So he's a great example of patience that we can look to every day. Now you and I, we may need patience in many different situations. For example, you might need to be patient with your friends or the people around you. Like maybe you're playing at a friend's house and they're doing something that you don't want them to do. Or maybe you're trying to explain something to your mom and dad, or you're trying to explain something to your brother or sister or your teacher, and they're just not understanding a single word you're saying, and you're just getting so frustrating and frustrated and upset. Or, you know, have you ever had a, your brother or sister or even just a friend who broke your absolute number one favorite toy that you love so much and it's so special you don't let anyone ever, anyone ever play with it? Those are times when you might need to be patient with people and forgive them and not respond in anger. Now, we need to be patient with people, but sometimes we need to be patient with the situations that we're in, right? We might be at the grocery store with mom and dad and we've been there all day shopping and shopping and we're tired and we're hungry and I just want to sit on the floor or I just want to go play my video games. But the line is a million and ten miles long and I have to stand here and it's so boring. That's a time when you need to be patient. Or maybe, you, have you ever had your parents ask you to go clean up the toys in the living room and have your, your brothers or sisters help you and then... Um, they got distracted and they were like playing with their toys and you're just sitting there like, come on guys, we gotta get this done. I wanna go do this other thing. That's a time when you might have to have some patience in that situation and with your brothers and sisters. So we need to be patient with people. We need to be patient in situations. But did you know there is also somebody else we need to be patient with? Patient with ourselves. You know that we've already talked about how none of us are perfect. So sometimes we try to do things and we just don't get it right the first time or the second time or the third time. And it can get very, very upsetting. You can get really down on yourself because you're making these mistakes. And in those times, instead of getting frustrated, you need to take a deep breath. Remember that you're not perfect. Forgive yourself for not being perfect. It's okay. And remember that God will help you through it. And he'll help you get better at it. So instead of getting frustrated, you have to be patient with yourself. Those are all times when our patience is tested. And I'm sure that you could even name like 110 million more. And the Bible says that even in those times when we want to lose our temper, it, it's important that we're quick to listen, slow to speak, and that we're slow to get angry. That means instead of popping off on somebody and blah, 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 immediately yelling at them when, and losing our temper when something isn't going our way, we take a minute and we listen to what they're trying to say and we try to understand where they're coming from. And even when we understand where they're coming from, if we still don't agree with them, we're slow about how we respond so we don't say things that are mean and um, are going to be something we might regret later. And we're slow to get angry because we remember um, this thing in the Bible. It's like so important. In Colossians, it says, in Colossians 3.13, it says that God forgave us first, right? We all know God sent Jesus to forgive us. And he forgives us anytime we come to him and ask for it. So because God forgave us, we need to be able to forgive those around us. Because I'm not perfect. You're not perfect, so I should be okay and be patient with you when you make a mistake, and you should be patient when, with me when I make a mistake. Now, we need patience in many kinds of situations like with that, like that. But you know what? Sometimes we might even need to be a little patient with God. Have you ever thought about that before? Maybe we're praying for something that's super important to us. Like we have someone in our family who's sick and we really want them to get better. Or maybe I just desperately want that really cute puppy as my pet. And I need to convince mom and dad that it's important for us to get a pet. So I pray every day for um, the dog. Or I pray every day for that kid on the playground to be nice to me. And sometimes... We pray and we pray and we pray and we, it seems like it takes forever 
for God to answer our prayers. And then sometimes he answers them differently than we asked him to. So maybe instead of, you know, getting that dog that we asked for, mom and dad said, oh, you can get a pet. You can get a goldfish. And so maybe our prayer, our prayer, God answers it a little differently than we wanted. Those moments can be hard because it feels like maybe sometimes that God doesn't hear us or that he doesn't care what we really want. But that is not true at all. In Psalms 56, the Bible says that God, that God cares about you so much. Okay, He loves you so much and he cares about everything that makes you sad. He has this special book. And anytime something makes you sad, he writes it down in that book. And every single tear that you cry, he collects it in a bottle because he is sad when you are sad and he, he wants to comfort you in those moments. Now, we know that the Lord is going to take care of you in all of those things because he wants the absolute best life for you. And his plans for your life our plans to have this just super duper amazing life. And sometimes the things that we ask for are what's best for us is a no. Or sometimes what's best for us is no, not right now, but maybe later. So he doesn't do things to make you sad and he doesn't respond to his prayers to slowly to torture you. He does it because he's everywhere and he's in every single time he's been in the past, he's in the past, he's right now in the present, and he's in the future. So you know what that means? He knows everything. So because he knows everything, he knows exactly what's best for us. And sometimes it may not be right what we pray for right in that moment. Think about it like this. I went to the store the other day, and I want everyone to think about their favorite treat. Like if you could have number one delicious treat that you just want to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat, 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 eat some more, what would it be? For me, it would be ice cream. I'm all about ice cream right now. So let's say I came home with this delicious box of ice cream. It's massive. There's tons and tons of ice cream in it, right? If you had this box of ice cream, what would you want to do? You want, would want to eat the ice cream. Or if you don't like ice cream, it's a box of candy. And what would you want to do? eat the candy in the in the box. So you're immediately going to go to your mom and dad. And you're going to say, Mom, Dad, can I have some ice cream? Mom, Dad, can I have some more ice cream? Mom, Dad, I want to eat, I eat, 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 and eat. And sometimes mom and dad might say, yeah, you can have one piece or one ice cream cone. That's it. Or sometimes they might even say, uh, no, you need to eat dinner. Now, mom and dad know something that you don't know. In that moment, all you see is delicious ice cream. But mom and dad know that this delicious ice cream, if that's all you eat, it's not good for your body, right? It's gonna make you sick. They also know that all that sugar in that ice cream might get you in trouble because you might lose your mind and go a little crazy and do some things that would get you in trouble. So mom and dad are gonna say no or maybe just a little bit. Because they know bad things that can happen to you if you eat this whole box. And they want to protect you from these bad things. Even though all you see is delicious ice cream in that moment. Oh. So God's just like that. He sees all the things that may look good like delicious ice cream. But in the long run aren't so great for us. And he responds to his prayers in what's going to give us the absolute best life. Not necessarily what we think is the absolute best in this moment. So sometimes it can be hard in those moments to be patient because we're kind of upset that our prayers weren't answered the way we thought they should be. And it can definitely be hard to be patient with people and situations. So let's just take a minute. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to ask God for some help in being patient in all situations. Okay, so we're going to close our eyes so we can focus on God and pray with me. God, you are an amazing example of patience. How you have patience with us when we are constantly messing up is crazy and amazing and beyond me. 
help us to remember in those times when people are frustrating us or there are situations that are really getting on our nerves or we're getting upset at ourselves that you were patient with us so we can be patient with other people and we can be patient with ourselves. Remind us in those moments that you love us even when we make mistakes and you love the other person even if they made a mistake towards us. And let us respond in love instead of in anger. And God, thank you that you take care of us in all things, that you want the absolute best for us no matter what. And even if it's hard, we thank you that you answer our prayers in what's best for us and not necessarily what we want right then and there in that moment. Help us to remember, even when we're disappointed, that you're taking care of us and you love us and that one day none of this down here is going to matter anyway because we're going to get to be in heaven with you. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. With that being said, are you ready to do some dancing? Okay, find a spot in the room. Be careful when you're dancing. Don't hurt your brothers or sisters. Don't break anything and don't spill any cups. I said, Lord, Lord Jesus, won't you come and fill me up? Cause without you, I'd be feeling so empty. I said, Lord, Lord Jesus, I want you come and fill me up Cause without you, I'd be feeling so empty uh -huh. Fill me up till I overflow Fill me up till I overflow uh -huh. Fill me up till I overflow yeah. Fill me up till I'm overflowing Till I overflow Fill me up till I overflow Fill me up till I'm